Hey guys, what's up today? This is Dalsu with Dalsu Plays. We're back with some more Banner Saga 2. We just uh, fought a few fights on our way to this old fort. It seems like the fights are coming a lot quicker and faster now. Which I guess is a good sign. Okay, it is my final stand. Another bridge. Another bridge, just like the last game. That's a nice uh, sort of connection there. I assume that this is the epic final fight. I don't know. Yeah, we definitely need sleep. A lot of my people are currently injured, Gods, unfortunately. Of all places to make a final stand, I bring us to the old fort. But we're gonna have to do what we have to do. Times are tough right now. I hate that the time has stopped, though. Ah, bridges make pretty good places to make a defensive stand, so... Maybe things will work out after all. Shield wall, you say, or think you say. Fatigue hinders your every thought. No one forms up as large groups of humans approach from the building near the old fort. A small, stout man leads them. Mercenaries, huh? You don't look worth a damn, let alone coin. You reach for your axes, but if you spearmen, make it clear you shouldn't. Easy, the last thing we need is to spill each other's blood before that dark wall or the dredge get their chance, eh? Dredge, the word echoes in your head. They don't know what they're doing. The man makes a face, and even Folka lifts her head enough to squint at you. Well, we're charged with keeping this route open for the clans that want, that went to Ar Arborong, the man says. So we know we're going to be killing as many of those dredge as we can. Threats and commands come to mind, but never make it out of your mouth. The march, the fighting, the lack of sleep all catch up with you. And you fall on you fall to a knee. You try to catch yourself, but grace, gracelessly, your head hits the snow. Time for some dreams. I'm a dredge. Sensing you're being watched, you leap to your feet and reach for claw and fang, but they're missing. You roar in anger. The short man by the entrance takes a step back. Easy, Bulwark. No one's trying to harm you. You get to your feet, head pounding. Where are the ravens, you ask? I woke you first, he says. But the others need to get up, too. I let you sleep as long as I dared, but they're almost out of time. He motions to a side table, and you find your axes undamaged. Who are you, and what do you want, you ask? My name's Hader, but that won't matter in a few hours, the man says. We come from Akur. We're the rear guard of the clan's army that went to that went to challenge the king in Arborom. With axes in hand, you ask, then what do you want from me? Well, I'm no battle leader, Hader says. I'm just a skirmisher like the rest here and proud of myself for not running off already. Plain and simple, you know how to fight, so tell us what to do and we'll do it. Okay. We've got fighters who could use some tips or encouragement, Hader says. Maybe we could build some stake walls with parts of buildings. Up to you, but you don't have time to do much, and no one's expecting miracles. Regardless of how this plays out, I'm glad you stumbled in here when you did. Okay. Finally, I can rest. Stepping out of the cold air refreshes you. You look around and are surprised to see stragglers crossing the bridge. The old wanderer is alone and angry. What's wrong with you, old man? He glares at you. Those feigned dredge. We fought them a few times, but they eventually got the better of us. Killed everyone but me. Just threw my blade away and shoved my head in the snow. He coughs and spits. Grab a new blade, you say. Get ready to avenge the insult. You grab a handful of snow and squeeze it in your fist until a trickle of water falls to the ground. A silent tribute to your ravens who didn't make it. <laughs> For my dead homies. Alright, I would really like to rest. Can we not do that? It looks like I'm not going to have the option to rest. Which sucks. Because, well, hey, my injuries have been recovered. So never mind. I'm going to level up Mogan. He's uh, served me well. I think he definitely deserves it. He needs an item of some kind. We've got Artery Strike times three, which is pretty damn good. Let's give him Puncture, I guess. Alright, let's confirm that, and then let's go to the shop and see if we can get something nice. Mogan's my main guy. Mogan and Bulwark. So he needs a nice item. 
One to all talent ranks, three to armor, 20% divert armor attacks. I mean, that's a fucking sick item. Let's grab that. And yeah, so we're spending all of our points in one place here, but he's so good. He could get one more level up to level 10, but... What does this do? Will on rest. One armor on rest, one will. We'll give it to... Uh, her, I guess. Yeah, it seems like a good item. She can't have it because she's only five. Let's promote her if we can afford it. We can barely... Shield smash. Without her shield, she loses her passive ability. Break damage from the force of the attack. I don't like that too much, but that's all I can do. Okay, choose ability. And she needs more armor break, I think. And she needs more willpower ability. Cool. So now she can take this item, and I think we're ready to fight. Let's see what's at the houses. Walking among the buildings, a few ravens introduce you to a carpenter from the town. Easy enough to bring a few of these homes and barns down, he says, pointing with a hammer. If you and your ravens help me cart some of the material from them, we'll make it so any force coming across that bridge will pay dearly. Yep. A few hours later, stake walls are in place, and the, as the dredge arrive, you might not save us. You tell Folka we have to kill a few more than before. What's Folka got to say about it? The shield maiden tightens her straps on her armor while glaring at you with red-rimmed eyes. If you got something to say, say it. We'll be dead before long. We don't have to be. We could leave right now. Whoever's after us would roll through here without slowing. We'd be caught in the open. Then we can leave that damn cart. I'm not going to do it. An oath isn't worth all of our lives. That's exactly what an earth, uh, oath is worth. In the following silence, you see Folka's eyes brim with tears. Oh, I don't want to die. Not yet. And I don't want you to die either. Talk like this is forbidden in the company, but you turn your head, giving her a moment to collect yourself. I thought you were supposed to be a badass shield maiden. What would you do if this person you followed for years was no longer the same? I'd kill them and take over. You want to try me? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's happening to me. I don't have time to figure out what you're talking about. Yeah, I really don't have time. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about these dreams, your lack of sleep, what you're becoming. The Ravens are about to fight a war, and they're led by someone who can barely recognize anymore. They'll get over it. Nope. Folka shoves you with her shield, but even her considerable size and strength barely moves you. You owe them an answer. You owe me an answer. Again, you see the image of a dredge slinger disappear into darkness and fear a terrible loss. There's a voice in my head growing louder. I've been fighting to keep it quiet. Bellower's voice, probably. But Bellower's dead. His body... He's asleep. I think the arrow keeps him that way. Folka nods. The conclusion doesn't seem too far-fetched for her. These dreams are things he's seen. The Vulcan did something to betray him. They were working with the Sundur. I think so. But this has more to do with Ivan and Juno. They did something. Something bad. I don't even think Zephyr knows what they did. The two of you look over at Zephyr. The Falka stares into the fire, lost in thought. So what does all of this mean? Uh, it means I don't trust Valka? Yeah. <laughs> but Zephyr and Juno were killed for controlling the minds of others. She could, po she could possibly make people trust her. Not me. A scout's horn interrupts you, signaling the fighters to the bridge. If we make it through this, someone in Manahar is going to answer to me. You storm off to the fighting, building your rage with each step. Okay, let's fight. The immensity of the dredge force standing just across the bridge is both terrifying and wondrous. Their droning sounds shake the ground, and you wonder if the old ford can withstand it. Fear is strong in the air. You faintly hear some humans running away, but your ravens stand firm against the impossible odds. You grant yourself a moment of pride for that. Suddenly, the tall wall of dredge warriors begins to move. Ooh. Hey, it's reincarnated uh, ladyboy. He's a dredge now. It hasn't helped his mustache. Let's do it. Uh, this is the exact lineup I think that I want. We've got Mogan. We've got Helga. <laughs> Folka. We're ready. Let's do this. Wow. Okay, shit. We weren't joking, man. That is a wall. So we've got the shield, the, the, the wooden spikes here, but we don't have any archers anyway, so it doesn't really help us that much, like like I was going to say. Nichols is dead. Eyeless. This isn't that bad, except that I know reinforcements are going to come. Well, should we move up some? I don't think we actually can. Who's this? 
These are my archers. Okay. In that case. Nice. What is he going to do? I don't know what that was. We'll sort of back him up. Start to start to weasel our way over here. I don't want to be in range of this guy though if I can help it. Let's just go a little bit up. This guy, not really important. Send him up the middle. He kind of sucks. Um, this guy's also kind of sucky. We can just boost our defense. We are going to get hit by this guy, aren't we? Two damage. How, man? My armor is higher than his... I don't want it. The computer cheats. Fuck, fucking computer cheats, man. All right, let's get in here so we can bolster their armor. Just in case that happens again. Alright, are we ready? Do we do we do this willpower sacrifice and charge forward again? Let's not charge this far forward. Let's charge this far forward. Because we can actually kill him. Can we? Oh shit, what is that guy? That guy looks a lot scarier. Oh man, he's huge. What the fuck? He's huge. Let's just get Mogan out where he can start to help out. Eesh. I don't like that. But, suppose it has to happen. Let's see if we can like go around this guy. We actually can't. We're too big. Alright, I think six damage is great. This is Echol. Eccles not going to be able to do anything right now, except for get close. Start to get close. Armor damage. Yeah, we kind of are a little bit too tight here, aren't we? If I go here, though, I'm blocking her. Let's just rest. I think I'm just being too aggressive with my giant. He's taking all this damage. Make sure we can finish him off next turn. Yeah, my giant. My poor giant. Let's do a bear rage here. Make them all go away, lower all their armor, I guess. We did, didn't we? That's actually not a bad skill for that specific situation. It's pretty good. Still got 10 armor versus 5. Okay, so I was about to say. And we get the counter, though. That's that's pretty damn good skill for that. I finally figured out the specific situation where that is badass. Alright, I'm going to go right up here, be very aggressive, and I'm going to give him one hell of a bloody flail. Uh, mostly armor damage, but uh, still worked out. Ooh, that's just nasty, man. And a deflect. That is too bad. Let's see if we can uh, understand what the hell clockwise means. Clockwise. A clock goes like this. But he goes the opposite way. So the tooltip is just wrong. Doesn't matter. We did a great hit there. So we should could deal with this guy. We gotta get through. We gotta break through, but our giant is gonna die. <sighs> We're just too aggressive with him, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're just being a little bit too aggressive with him. She can actually get shield smash. Tell me again, shield smash, break shield on enemy, break damage to enemy. And adjacent units. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't get that. That doesn't seem that great. Maybe it is. I don't know. Okay, dude. We need you now. I need you to chase after this guy. Let's just do tons of damage. Good. Nice. I wish they did a little more than one, but whatever. Three. Good job. I must have been listening. Okay, uh, let's go around so we can actually sort of get close to this guy. And see if we can maybe stomp him. Almost. He's gonna have to call for reinforcements, I guess. Alright, things are looking okay, I guess. This guy sucks. What are you gonna do? Uh, he reincarnated Bulwark, who's now breaking down my walls. And then he disappeared. Holy shit, what the fuck. So I've gotta kill him. I've gotta kill Bulwark. Is that right? Seems right. Alright, let's kill this guy before he calls reinforcements. Alright, let's get a nice uh, five hit on this guy for the kill. Okay. Shoot Bulwark. Shoot him. Alright, or that guy. Um, can almost kill you. Ow. Alright, we'll kill Bulwark and then this big guy's gonna come back, right? There he is! Right fucking there. He's gonna just appear out of nowhere and kill me. Great job. He does have a shit ton of armor, man. We've gotta start working on that armor, like, right now. Alright, we're gonna have to sorta of clear these guys away. So that we can get to this guy and just start working on him hard. Mogan, you gotta head back. This guy's just gonna be hell, dude. He's gonna be hell. Shoot him! I forgot there was that one guy left. Couldn't get lucky there. All right, now we're ready to just focus on this guy. Ah, god damn it. This is tough, man. So we gotta send Mogan to kill him and then try to use these two. I guess we gotta back away and all deal with him. Because when he reappears, it's going to be right there. And last time he just reappeared and fucking killed me. Like it was nothing. Alright, so he's here. Now he's going to just kill me. That was all armor damage, thankfully. But still. Alright, get that armor down, baby. Get that armor down as fast as you can. Now maybe it's time to try our shield smash. That was pretty good, except we did damage to him too. Alright, well, Mogan can't quite reach, unfortunately. Very unfortunately. He's also out of willpower. She's One of us is going to die. No. Went for the reincarnate. Okay. How is he getting two shots? I call bullshit on that. Is 
This is tough, man. Very tough. We're gonna have to break these walls, probably. Shoot him. Good. Glad we have those archers. This is a mess, man. I've got to break that wall, I guess. No, nope, nothing special, no. Nope. Just go ahead and break it. Now we can get to him. She's taking damage. She must be poisoned. This is... I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try it, but... Where is he going to reappear? He's going to reappear right there, then he's going to waltz on over and kill her, right? That hardly seems fair. Really hardly seems fair. Alright, um... You have no willpower. I'll give you one willpower, and then you can hit him for four. Make him slightly less dangerous. But now this guy's basically stuffed. He's gonna go reincarnate again, right? No, he's gonna hit my giant for fucking seven. Ugh. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This is gonna be way tough. I don't know. Sundering Impact wasn't too bad. It was a little... Yeah, he's gonna reincarnate. Jesus Christ, man. This is such bullshit. Now we gotta chase this guy down. Yeah, this is... I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know if we can win this one. Are you shooting the bad guy as invisible over here? At least we'll be far away from... Oh, shit. That's it. We lose. <laughs> yeah, I think we lose here. Yep. There goes my giant. Only, only Mogan's left. We can get the kill, but... It's not looking good. He's just gonna come whack me and kill me. No, he can't beat my armor. Mogan, you're my only hope, man. You're my only fucking hope, dude. Do it. Five damage. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Oh, we killed him. We hit the artery strike. Eyeless fall to the ground. Suddenly the chaotic sounds of battle, but quiet and then surrounding dredge lower their weapons in shock. A group of dredge guards break through the crowd and begin lifting Eyeless's body. Then you see in her arm move, the Sundra is still alive. There is a chance to finish Eyeless if you and a few others are willing to risk charging the dredge. There's no telling what will happen if she's allowed to recover, but you feel a pang of sadness at the thought of killing her. Yeah, we're gonna kill this. We're gonna kill the fucker. The ravens wipe their blades on their tunics and once again begin their throaty chanting. Thrilled, they run with you towards the body of Eyeless. Wait, I get reinforcements, don't I? Oh, fuck. I guess I get reinforcements. Maybe not. Fuck. If I don't get reinforcements, what the hell am I supposed to do? <sighs> Once again. Game. I just go in straight for the body, right? Nope, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Forget it. Everybody's all buffed up. I mean, they're in pillage mode. There's no way I can win this. Yeah, I can't get to the body. So, I didn't realize that was what was happening. 
19 life, and I only have 6 HP. This is not happening. Yeah, good night. I thought that the game would surely give me some reinforcements, like it does for the dredge every 5 seconds. But it didn't happen. Alright, so we lost. So, we just click resume, I guess. Oh, I gotta load. Well, alright guys, we'll have to do it again. Um, otherwise, I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers.